Left uh, two three uh, Mike Zulu left turn at your discretion. Taxi to parking and welcome to the Safer Pilot Challenge 2026. For all of our longtime M Zero Nation fans, welcome back to the best time of year, the Safer Pilot Challenge. For everyone new here, let me give you a quick debrief of what we're doing here. The 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge is we're going to come out with a video every single day for the month of January to ensure you become a better pilot and be the best pilot you can be for 2026. So, I have something for you to do. Every day that a video comes out, I need you to check in down below. And let me know that you are X for X throughout the full challenge. So today, being day one of the 31 Day Safe for Pilot Challenge, I need you to check in down below that you are one for one for the 31 Day Safe for Pilot Challenge. Glad to have you here. Let's go ahead and get into it. And we're starting off with usually an engine failure, something along those lines. Today, we even get to have a, something even better. Boom. I, unfortunately, just had several circuit breakers pop out. Something just went crazy. I had a total electrical system failure. That is not good. Not good whatsoever. So, what do I do here? This is an emergency. Actually, if you look in a checklist, which I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick, go to the abnormals, actually the emergency tabs. We're going to look at this. Go in down below, whether it be over voltage or under voltage, those are both minor. This is a total we're simulating that you can't see this right now. Total electrical failure. We are uh, flight terminate as soon as possible. Flight terminate as soon as possible. We need to get on the ground because this is a electrical emergency. If we were able to hear before we were able to lose everything, I would have went ahead and squawked 7600 to let air traffic control know I'm lost comms. Luckily, I have a standby attitude indicator that I can use to, con to maintain situational awareness. Especially, it differs if you're IFR versus VFR. IFR, I'm gonna follow the MEA and the Avenue F methods. For VFR, I'm going to maintain VFR. And I'm going to terminate at the uh, nearest airport that I can find. Luckily, I got one right off the nose. And unfortunately, I'm not able to talk with them. That is, that is the unfortunate part. So the good part is I was carrying a backup microphone. So this is where this comes in, and I'm going to tune in, and I'm going to talk with them on this. So it's important to know how to use a backup emergency comm. So without further ado... Cessna 1923 Foxtrot, Mike Ellen Tower, hold short, runway 27, landing traffic. Hold short, 2723 Fox. Blue Phoenix 204, Mike Ellen Ground, runway 27, taxi via Bravo. 391 Whiskey Charlie, uh, number two now, got a Cessna coming up on a one mile final. He is a touch and go. Runway 27, clear to land. 27, clear to land, one Whiskey Charlie. Column Tower, Sears 107, Alpha Juliet. Uh, 10 miles Unfortunately, it's a busy west, day too, uh, so, but this is a real yeah, situation where we need to be adapting of what we do. Now, if you were to come in and you did not have comms, hopefully you're squawking 7600, but if you join the pattern, rock your wings, let air traffic control know that you are in aircraft in distress and you need help. That's when they're going to pull out the light gun signal, which we're going to demonstrate here shortly. Tower Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, six miles north of the field. Simulated electrical failure, full stop landing with Kilo. November uh, 23, uh, Mike Zulu, Mike Cullum Tower. Enter the right downwind, runway 27. Enter a right downwind, runway 27, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu. So you got to be well versed on how to use these. Luckily, I still have my headset. We're simulating this, but know how to use one of these. Don't just have one of these brand new in your bag. Make sure the batteries are working. So if this were to ever happen, you know exactly what you need to do. Leaving altitude. Departure control frequency 121.0, squawk 
Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of things that we are not going to have here. Luckily, since we have the redundancy of the Magnetos, we're not going to lose our engine. That's the best part of this. But the worst part of it is we don't have anything else. Luckily, we are able to talk with air traffic control. We're going to simulate and show you what it looks like to see a light gun because a lot of us haven't actually seen what a light gun signal looks like. But so far, my instructions are this. I'm coming in. I'm just north of the airport. I'm joining a right downwind for runway 27. So as of right now, I'm coming down to traffic pattern altitude. I'm able to look on my standby and come down. It's 2,000 feet. But another thing I need to plan on is, unfortunately, my flaps are electric. Hopefully, you're flying an aircraft such as a Piper that has manually applied flaps. However, this is something that I have to practice every so often is a no flap landing because it's you reality. Downwind, you call my base, it zero happens. Seven but for now, we are planning on a no-flap landing. We are in emergency. Following Luckily, we are able to get in communication with air traffic Juliet. control. But we want to get on the ground as soon as possible. Just an event. I'm not a big fan of electricity because if it were to spark a fire, I want to be on the ground as quick as possible. And if my whole system immediately fails without any indication, I didn't so even get a light showing I was uh, under voltage or over voltage. I unfortunately got nothing. But this is something I need to know how to handle appropriately. So I'm at my pattern altitude. I'm coming about to join the midfield right downwind for runway 27. But I got my handy dandy mic ready to go. Be on one whiskey Charlie, right turn, taxi to parking, monitor ground. Right turn to uh, parking monitor ground, watch shot. Alright, I'm going to join the downwind, and I want to stay ahead of the plane as best as possible, and that involves, I know I'm not going to be able to use my flaps to help me slow down and maintain the same amount of lift, so I'm going to be coming in a little bit faster. I'm going to adjust my approach speed a little bit, but I'm also going to slow things down a little bit in the pattern. The call is Tower Skyhawk 2-3, Mike Zulu established on the right downwind runway 27. 2-3, Mike Zulu, uh, if you hear, base turn, you're cleared to land. Alright, base turn, clear to land, runway 27, Skyhawk 23, Max Zulu. Now, come in. Blue Phoenix 201, I'm uh, column ground, runway 27. Clear. I'm going to start slowing down runway to my final taxi. approach speed. Yeah, bravo. Now, this is where it comes into play where I extended my downwind just a little bit to allow myself to slow down appropriately. Now, I'm going to turn final here shortly. Making sure final is clear. Blue Phoenix 205, start your base. Turn your base, Blue Phoenix 205. And now, I want you to see something. There's one Alpha Juliet. Uh, start your base behind the Cessna. We will start our base behind the Cessna. There's 107 Alpha Juliet. As you can see, we have a green light gun signal. Now, I don't have any drag, so I have to adjust knowing exactly how to land the aircraft without any flaps. I came in at a little bit of higher airspeed. Now, one thing I can do is I can slip to be able to bleed off some of that airspeed, but I think I'm going to be okay. I'm right where I want to be, and I'm just bleeding off that airspeed. I got a nice green light from the tower showing a steady green we are cleared to land but now i'm just coming in to land without any flaps so just know how to handle the aircraft and just like that we're back on the ground safely it is so important to stay calm in a situation like this and to be safe traffic cleared to land 27 107 alpha juliet 
Best 957 Hotel, you follow the Sears, basing at three miles, number three, runway 27, clear touch and go. Following the series, uh, number three in the sequence, clear touch and go, 57 Hotel. We have to make a left turn here. Best 923, uh, uh, Mike Zulu, left turn at your discretion, taxi to parking, and welcome to the Safer Pilot Challenge 2026. All right, we'll make a left turn here. Bravo 3, taxi into parking, remaining this frequency. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu. And did you hear that? That's how we're because a good pilot is always learning. This is so important. Now, this is something that we coordinated with air traffic control just to make sure that we were... Remain north of runway 27. As safe as possible with this. Safe for Pilot Challenge 2026, kicking it off with a start. Thanks for joining because electrical failure, it comes out of nowhere. You have to be prepared, so know how to do a no-flap landing if you have electric flaps. Know how to be able to handle the aircraft just in the event something right, goes one, two, out of the ordinary, uh, whether it be IFR or VFR. I want you to pay attention to those things whenever they come into play. I want to thank you so much for joining again. I want you to keep studying hard. I want you to keep flying smart. And I want you to keep the passion for aviation alive. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Because remember, a good pilot is always learning. I'll see you in tomorrow for day two. Take care. Hey, aviators. Before you take off, don't forget you can try m 0 Way Online Ground School completely free for two weeks. Jump in, explore the lessons, watch the videos, and take that virtual discovery flight and see exactly how our understanding-based teaching helps you master aviation, not just memorize it. And when you're ready to keep going, we've got options. Choose an individual course like private, instrument, commercial, or CFI FOI. Perfect if you're laser focused on your next certificate or rating. Or take things further with one of our curated pilot success memberships Golden Bronze gives you unlimited access to all of our manned courses, webinars, and bonus content designed to help you grow from a student to safe, confident pilot. Don't forget, we also now offer a membership tier specifically designed for those pilots who just want to stay up to date and have tools at their fingertips. Perks Pass. There's no courses, but still, all things knowledge. So start your free two-week trial today at m0a.com trial and discover why thousands of pilots trust m 0 a to make aviation learning simple, effective, and fun. Because remember, a good pilot is always learning.